Hello YouTube, and welcome back anyways, it's that magical time of year again. Mario Kart DLC. Anyways, uh, let's jump right in. Before we get into the actual predictions themselves, I just want to talk about the data mines. Now, obviously these have been a very, very useful tool, but I feel like too many people are praising them as the end-all, be-all when they're not. They never really have been, because every subsequent wave, they've been less and less accurate. I think the thought of them planning, like, set in stone every single track when they started development, which I'm going to assume around November 2021, the idea of that is absurd. That's not how it works. And I think that's the easiest explanation why there's so many blanks of Wave 6 as, why, as well, is why each subsequent wave is being less and less accurate to the data mines. Wave 2 is spot on to the prefix data mine. Wave 3, the tracks were, around, were shuffled around, and then they were like, oh, you want Maple Tree Way to have Waluigi Stadium? Here, have it. And then there's Wave 4. No LA laps, but we got Bangkok. We got Waluigi Stadium. So while some of the music was right, Others was completely wrong. So I, I do think they need to stop being treated like as the end-all be-all. And I think, I think very much they're just placeholders. Now, they're placeholders that they've mostly ended up using, but that doesn't mean they're not placeholders. Like, obviously they rearrange the tracks to give the perfect order beginning to end. But if everything was set in stone to begin with, why would they need to change the order for it to be a good order? Again, just... They're not the end-all be-all. They're a great jumping off point. Even the music track, the music leak tells us the tracks that are going to be in, but it really doesn't tell us when they're going to be. Maple Tree Way's music was for Wave 6. It's in Wave 3. So... Again, like... There's also like the thing of like, how in sync are the development teams of Tour and 8? We don't know that. They could be buddy-buddy, neighbor-neighbor, with Mario Kart 8 Davis being like, Hey, can you uh, develop G DS Mario Circuit? Or, like, I assume I assume Tour Tracks probably, I'd guess, around 8 months to fully, uh, fully prepare. Maybe, like, they had no plans of doing DS Mario Circuit originally in Wave 4, and then Nintendo's like, ooh! You guys, you guys are almost done with that. Ooh, let us, let us copy your homework and take it. So again, we also don't know how synchronous they are, which is mostly going to come into play with Wave Five, with one of my predictions. Um, but yeah, that's really my thoughts on the data mine. Great tool for starting off, but if you follow bread and butter exactly what it says, you're going to be wrong. Especially now that you can't even do that, since most of the tracks had music leaked are already in, besides Vancouver and LA Laps, I want to say. I want to say those are the only two that still aren't in with music. Oh, and Sunset Wilds. So, I say we jump right into Wave 5. Anyways, onto the Feather Cup. First of all, we got Tour Los Angeles Slaps. Now, not saying this in the Wave 4 trailer was honestly quite a shock, as it was the track I was most excited for originally, but at least we got Bangkok which is, was my most hyped, realistic expectation in the Booster Course Pass. Um, but all variants are done here. Um, all of them have a different starting place as well, which can make it really, really interesting. I wonder if Yoshi Island is a uh, section track and they didn't want two tour section tracks in one wave. Um, but I do think this one's coming sooner rather than later. It does have music. That was State of Mind. That's the big thing. It was on the banner again. Banner's probably a placeholder, but still, it was there, and it does seem likely. So, this one I imagine will be sooner rather than later. And it's really just a matter of which of the Wave 5 cups will it open, or clubs possibly as well. Next, we got our second GameQ track, Daisy Cruiser, the perfect summer track, since this will probably be releasing over the summer. Um, I also think this is just a great second Double Dash track to have in the Booster Course Pass. I, this is a very fun track. It'll be Daisy's first track in eight, so at least she'll have one. And uh, honestly, I, I think this is just the perfect track to have in this cup. Next on, we got what's probably our final GBA track. I'd be very shocked if we got one in every wave, because we're not even getting a DS track in every wave, and DS is a 
the third most popular Mario Kart game behind Wii and 8, so. I'd be very shocked if we got another, so Sunset Wilds. This one's pretty locked in because of the music. Um, sadly, I'll probably use the tour version, but I still love Sunset Wilds. Uh, it's one of my favorite tracks in the franchise. Fa second favorite Super Circuit track behind Rainbow Road. So just saying it here will just make me super pumped. Finally, closing out this track, this cup is... I actually have two different predictions, one that's more likely, one that's less likely. Now I'm going to go with the less likely prediction here just because I think it looks cooler and because it's a better track, hope possibly, which is DS Airship Fortress. Now if you didn't know, uh, originally Wave 5 uh, had a blank and a tour prefix. Now spoiler alert, Piranha Plant Cove is in this wave. I think it's going to take the tour prefix, which leaves it blank. I'll explain that more with Piranha Plant Cove, but I do think that leaves this slot open for a possible retro which I'm putting Airship Fortress here. Um, it's just another DS track. DS tra is one of the most popular Mario Kart games. It makes sense to get as many in the game as you could. So five seems pretty likely to me. So I do think this is it, this is the most likely one. Uh, if it is not Airship Fortress, if Airship Fortress is not here, um, it would probably be a tour city. I'd probably say between Athens and Madrid. So move on the Wave 6 ones here, then replace the final city track with Mumbai, as I think those are the three most cities, so it'll be one of those here if it isn't Airship Fortress, I think. But at least for this prediction, I am going with Airship Fortress. Um, obviously, we now know, not, thanks to Wave 4, which confirms non-prefixes in the first cup could possibly be um, Nitros, but again... I already have Piranha Plant Cove in this wave, and uh, the rate they're going, Piranha Plant Cove, I'll explain it more with Piranha Plant Cove, but I don't think they're going to be getting three cities this year, and if they do, I don't think all of them will be in the Booster Course Pass. Anyways, this is just the complete Feather Cup, just take a little moment to look at it in all its glory. I think it would be a pretty fun cup. Anyways, starting out the Cherry Cup is Vancouver Velocity. Um, this was originally, music was data fine for Wave 6, but again, it's very temporary. A bunch of stuff has already moved up music-wise, so I think they're going to get the last city that we actually know of sooner rather than later, since we actually know of it and they've actually released all variants. We eat Koopa Cape. I, I think Koopa Cape is, besides Rainbow Road, the most likely we track. Um, possibly Dry Dry Ruins and Daisy Circuit could also be here. But I do think Koopa Cape's more li likely. Koopa Cape's more popular. Um, I just really hope it's here. It has better music, in my opinion. Although, Dry Dry Ruins also has great music. I think the one thing that holds this track from being an 8 is we already got two very similar tracks with Wild Woods and Prom Plant Slide both using water gimmicks. But this is still the better track of the three. And very popular, and it's in tour, so I think it has a chance. Next, we got our final SNES track in our first Bowser Castle with Bowser Castle 3. Now, I don't think we're getting a GBA Bowser Castle, but I still think we're getting a 2D Bowser Castle, so I say an SNES one. They've never been remade, and they're actually pretty fun. They're some of my favorite tracks in the game, even two. The, uh, though, I, in particular, I chose Bowser Castle 3 for two reasons. One, it's my personal favorite, and the internet tends to agree with that one, and two, we have Donut Plains 3, Mario Circuit 3, so why not Bowser's Castle 3 to keep with the trend, you know? Finally, as promised, Piranha Plant Cove. Uh, now, why is this here? Why is this the only other tour track besides two opening cities? I have a feeling that this track internally is considered more similar to the city tracks than it is to a Nitro. It says it has three variants. Well, it will have three variants. Um, which is why I think it's going to take the tour tag and not the blank, but I think they're going to remove it because it's not a city. They're going to remove the tour tag and just make it blank. Uh, again, there's a bunch of tour tracks that are in development. I don't think we're getting even close to all of them this year because why would they jump from one Nitro year to six? They're not going to. That's unrealistic. That's not how it works. And we, we all thought this was going to be Orlando, so I almost wonder if there's a separation between the teams and they may have thought this was Orlando as well because of OR, um, maybe they're just not given assets. I don't know, but I do think that this is gonna be the only no, only other tour track. Again, if you disagree with that, 
put like Mumbai or Athens or Madrid instead of Airship Fortress. Um, and that's still pretty likely, I think. Um, really just change that up if you really want to. Um, again, I personally chose it this way because I think this is more interesting like look at like visually. Anyways, this is the whole chair cup. Uh, put a cup. If, if this is what happens, this will be a really solid cup. Moving on to wave six. We get the first track of the Acorn Cup, which is uh, Athens. We've, I've already talked about every city track that's already in tour. We only have data mined ones to go off of. Uh, Mobe T, Athens. Um, I don't know what mobs are more developed. I know like one of them is probably just a testing course. Mobo R is Piranha Plant Cove. Between the remaining ones, I don't really know which ones have most work done, but I imagine Athens is probably going to be soon. Um, I would have I would have bet money that was going to be the next tour until Wave 4 was revealed to be releasing next week, so now I think it's the Yoshi tour, but I think Athens is the first city track we're going to get again. Another reason why I didn't have three cities in the last wave is they seem behind on cities because typically we would have gotten our first new city by now in a year, so it's March, but we still haven't. Um, and we're probably not going to for a while, which is why I kind of think Problem Hunt Cove is taking the place of a city track. Which also to me explains why we're getting, probably getting more into our nitros. We're probably going to get Problem Hunt Cove and two other nitros. Um, one of them being Yoshi's Island, because Problem Hunt Cove, development-wise, is more like the city tracks, I imagine. Um, and which we typically get three new ones a year. So, if Problem Hunt Cove counts as one of those, we only got two left. Athens, I think, is one of them. Mushroom Bridge, uh, see, I don't know what, it's, it, Double Dash is the hardest to predict, honestly, because I don't think we're getting a Bowser's Castle, I don't think we're getting it's Rainbow Road, and since we're on the second half of the Booster Course Pass, I doubt we're going to get a, another Mushroom Cup with Luigi, Circuit, and Peach Beach, which doesn't leave a whole lot of options, and we also have Mushroom City, which would be my personal pick, but there's already a lot of Tour City tracks, so I don't think that one's likely at all. Uh, and then Dino Dino Jungle and DK Mountain. DK Mountain's so much more likely. I don't think we're getting Dino Dino Jungle, which eliminates it, because same music. I doubt they're going to add... Obviously, there's one, there's two tracks in Mario Kart 8 that share music. Uh, Warrior Stadium and Waluigi Pinball. But one of them was base game, one of them wasn't. I doubt they're going to add two tracks with the same music in the same DLC. Uh, which I think eliminates Dino Dino Jungle and Wario Coliseum. Which, that, that eliminates seven Double Dash tracks. That doesn't leave a lot. So, I I am going to go with Mushroom Bridge. I hesitate a bit because it's, it's, it's a pretty simple track. I think it could almost be eliminated just like Luigi Circuit and Peach Beach. But I do think it is more complex because of the cars on them. So, I am going to keep it. Although, I am a lot more hesitant on this one than I am for most tracks. Anyways, penultimate track of the penultimate comp. I have 3DS Maka Woohoo. Uh, I do think we're going to get another DS track. Again, I don't think every blank in this wave is going to be a Tour Nitro. It's just not realistic from a development standpoint. I'm going from three cities, three new cities, and one nitro year to a crap ton because remember the first city variant is the hardest to develop because they essentially do all routes they just don't release all routes um so the first ones are always the hardest to develop and the nitros are completely original they're only used once which is why they don't do it as often because they can't milk them as easily with more tracks um so I don't, I do think, I think wave 6 is mostly just undecided they want to see how reactions were early on I think 3DS Maka Woohoo or DS Airship Fortress are the two most likely stuff here. If we don't get Airship Fortress in Wave 5, I'd say it's probably going to be here. And not Maka Woohoo since we did get 3DS Rainbow Road. So, maybe they're like, oh, no more 3DS is needed. Finally, we got the bathroom track. I don't think this would fit right before Rainbow Road, which is why I'm putting it ending the first cup and not the penultimate track of the second cup. Um. Yeah, I, I don't have a whole lot to say. This, I know, I, I it's a bathroom.
DK Mountain, and something I forgot to mention when we got to Prom Pine Cove, I am also technically predicting new characters. Uh, you saw it on the screen, I just didn't say it. I do think we're getting PD Prana with Prom Pine Cove Wave 5. We're getting Wanda Kongs, I think. Um, I think Diddy Kong is more likely, unfortunately, just because he's a more standard Mario Kart character as opposed to Funky Kong. I think it's one of those two, though, uh, since we seem to be only getting one per wave. Um, but, you know... I still, I, 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 this is like, Diddy Kong's very popular, people want him, and this is one of the most popular Double Dash tracks, I mean, I've always personally preferred Dino Dino Jungle, but that's because I played it first, and I didn't play either original versions first, um, but you know, this is, this is a good track for the final wave, very popular, very good track, and all around fantastic. Uh, if penultimate track, uh, I think we're going to get another Bowser's Castle, and what better than N64? It's one of the most popular ones, and Nintendo wants money, Mario Kart Wii is literally Prince money. So why not end Booster Course Pass with the final Nitro Cup track, and the final Retro Track Cup back to back? It just sounds like a way to print money. If it, if I were to bet money on one Bowser's Castle in Booster Course Pass, this one. Because there's always a possibility of Vanilla Leak or Koopa Beach for SNES, but... Every N64 track except for one's been remade and I doubt we're getting Wario Stadium. So, I think Bowser's Castle will be re-remade. And, oh... Oh, oh it'll be fun. And finally, it's in tour now. It's in tour now, so it's not as quote unquote bold of a guess. Now, originally I was like, oh yeah, Maple Tree Way got to move forward to Wave 3 because they still want, because they want to have a, a Wii track in every wave and they're still going to do two Wii tracks in this wave, but then we didn't get two double trash tracks in Wave 4, so like, okay, I guess we're not going to get Dry Dry Ruins or Daisy Circuit, but you know, this one's in tour, so it's very likely now. Uh, not my favorite Rainbow Road, but it's still the perfect ending of the Booster Course Pass. The only thing that could make it better is being GBA Rainbow Road. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, this is a spiny cup. Look at this thing. This would be a behemoth. I love the city tracks. They're some of the highlights of every way for me. And then these three after... Ooh, what a way. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed these predictions. Um, like always, I had a ton of fun making them. I I think they're pretty likely too. I think I think this is my most likely set yet. Um, I really think we're getting to a point where so many tracks have already been used that using base logic and the data mines, what's left of the data mines, makes it really easy but really fun is there's a lot of minor changes like obviously with airship fortress that can be a city track and then like what's gonna happen with wave six I, it's just super interesting anyways i'll see you next time make sure to rate comment it'll mean a lot if you subscribe i got a ton of other stuff going on right now um my 3d world series in particular one of my favorite things I put out on the internet. Episode 21 recently released, and holy cow, that is one of my favorite videos I've ever released. I love it. Uh, Josh, Josh gives the greatest intro I've ever had. Um, so you should definitely check that out. I also have a Discord link down below. I'd love to talk whether it's about Mario Kart, Fire Emblem, anything really. I just have fun. So, see you next time for... <laughs> Predicting wave six, we're, we're almost done. Wow.